All right, today we're gonna to be pushing the limits of the TVM 850. Miami, Florida to Boston, Massachusetts. Here we go. Scattered, 2,900 scattered, ceiling broken 6,000. Temperature 29er, 2.27. Altimeter 3008. Remark, peak wind 11029 er at 1322 Zulu. Lightning distant west and northwest. Expect an Alice approach landing runway 9 or left. Advise on initial contact. You have information x ray. All right, we have information x ray. We'll go over to clearance here and get our IFR clearance up to Boston. Boat blocker clearance, November 851 Tango Bravo over at Signature with X-ray, looking to pick up our IFR. 851 Tango Bravo, Opalock uh, clearance delivery, clear to the Bravo, off to Sierra Airport, clear radar right vectors valley as filed. Maintain 2000, expect flight level 310, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 128.6, squawk 3363. Up to Boston Logan, radar vectors, valley intersection, then as filed. Maintain 2000, flight level 310, 10 minutes after. 128.6 on departure frequency, squawk and tree tree 63 for 851 Tango Bravo. On Tango Bravo, readback is correct, and there is a delay program going into Boston. You have an edict time, that's an expect departure clearance time of 1457. You can depart at plus or minus five minutes of that time. Time now 1409 or in one half. Roger, thanks. 851 Tango Bravo. We've been given a time clearance of, uh, we're, we have to take off around plus or five minutes of 1457 Zulu. Yeah, right now it is currently 10 after, so we basically have about 40 minutes to sit and wait until we are allowed to go. So we will sh shut our engine down and restart back then. All right, we're back on board. Uh, we waited about 40 minutes for our clearance so we were, when we were able to take off. We'll go over to ground frequency now and uh, we'll go taxi down to the end of the runway. I hope they'll let us go. We'll pull out ground, November 851 Tango Bravo. We're over at spot three with X-ray Ray Taxi. November 851 Tango Bravo, we'll at ground. You said you're at spot three? We'll be approaching spot three with X-ray Ray Taxi, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, November 851 Tango Bravo, runway nine or left, taxi via Papa. Charlie, November, and uh, remain on my frequency for IFR release. Papa Charlie, November to 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, so welcome aboard, everybody. It's an uh, exciting day today. We're going to be flying up from Miami to Boston, Massachusetts. How's everybody been doing? Good? Good, glad to hear. You guys are doing good? I'm good. So with the traffic flow into Boston today, they gave us a... Uh, expected takeoff time for in route spacing into the area. Unfortunately, we had to sit on the ground for about 40 minutes and wait for our takeoff time. We're going to be on an IFR flight today. We're going up Atlantic Route 16 up the East One Coast. Bravo, we'll remain on my frequency, and uh, we may have to have you depart of runway 12. Uh, there is an aircraft at 9 or left holding short. He's IFR as well, but uh, Miami's holding him for traffic and weather. You might be able to go since you're going to the east. Roger, no problem. We'll stay with you. We've got a lot of things to think about on this flight today. We've got some weather to deal with. We're pushing the endurance of this TVM for fuel up to Boston. And then we also have weather up uh, around the Boston area that we're going to be going in today. 
The flight time on this flight is around four hours, and we're going to be going up to flight 0310. Okay, one Tango Bravo Miami is releasing you due to your expect departure clearance time. Um, the wind now 140 at 14, gust 20. Are you able to accept runway 12 for departure? Hey, firm, we're ready for 12 for 8512 Bravo. Tango Bravo, Roger. Uh, you may transition over to Juliet. Turn left on Juliet, right turn on Papa, runway 12 at Tango 2. Or you can just continue on November and then uh, just maneuver over there. We'll just uh, remain in November and hold short of 12 for 8510 Bravo. One Tango Bravo, Roger. For contact tower when you're ready. Roger, contacting tower 8510 Bravo. Alright, as you guys can see, we do have a lot of big storms all around this area as well, so we'll keep an eye out for that as we take off. They're going to give us our departure first before that other airplane, since we've been already holding for 45 minutes for our expected departure clearance time. Yeah, run into some pretty good precip here today, guys, already on the, on the airport here. Opalaka Tower, November 851 Tango Bravo, we're holding short of 1-2. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Opalaka Tower, turn left heading 0 9 0 runway 1-2, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 1-2, we'll turn left to 0 9 0 November 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we've been given our takeoff clearance here for runway 1-2. Final looks clear. And we do have some pretty heavy rain also off our departure into the runway here. Gonna line up here on the runway. Clear to the left and the right. All right, here we go. Boston, Massachusetts, here we come. Here's center line. Raising the uh, power up. And takeoff power is set. Oil temperatures, pressures all look good in the green. We're just watching our airspeed build up. Holding our center line. We're pushing a lot with the right leg to keep up uh, the rudder to keep the plane straight. And there's our rotation speed. All right, we have positive rate of climb and indicating. We'll go gear up. We're going to actually put the uh, radar on too, get the radar warmed up, the onboard weather radar. Gears up. And we'll go flaps up, got a damper on. We're turning left to 090. Looks like we have some pretty good storms out there off the coast here also. That we keep me, mate. Keep Five, an one eye Tango Bravo, contact Miami departure. No departure, one Tango Bravo. I mean, good afternoon, TBM 851 Tango Bravo, with you 600 for 2000. 851 Tango Bravo, my departure, radar contact, I'll maintain uh, 3000. 3000, one Tango Bravo. Right, we're going to be turning the autopilot on. We're going to be climbing in IES mode. And then we are, have our heading bugs set to 090. We got our radar warming up. So we're going to be monitoring with our next red and our onboard weather radar. And we do have, uh, looks like a pretty good cell out here in front One of us. One Tango Bravo, you will go to, through some light to moderate precipitation for the next about 10 miles. And contact departure 119.45. Roger, thanks. At 1945, One Tango Bravo. Good morning, Miami. November 85, One Tango Bravo, the 11 out of 3000, 090 heading. November 85, One Tango Bravo, Miami approach for Roger. All right, so right now the next red is uh, five minutes old. The weather down here in South Florida moves pretty fast. We've been warned that we have light to moderate precip right out here in front of us. Our first cell is going to be about 2.5 miles out here in front of us, and then we have another one right at five, and then another one right at nine miles. I'm actually going to ask for right five. Second four eight starting to turn to Janus. And four zero eight, Roger. Thank you. Miami eight five one Tango Bravo, any chance right five? One Tango Bravo, direct where? Uh, we'd like to go right five degrees. November one Tango Bravo, uh, five degrees to the right is approved. Maintain, climb maintain five thousand. Right five approved at the five thousand one Tango Bravo. Right, we're gonna actually pull the power back and slow back a little bit. Now right, at the five thousand feet, and we got this rain shot right in front of us. That heading right there looks perfect. Right now, what I'm looking at, guys, is I'm looking at the onboard weather radar, and I, we're splitting two cells. Might get a little bumpy through here. And flying single pilot, the workload is immense, especially when it's bad weather like this. Hey, Miami 851 Tango Bravo, we can go back to the 090 heading. Yeah, we're more Tango Bravo, Roger on the 90 heading, join the uh, Valley Transition. Roger on the 090 heading, we'll join Valley Transition 851 Tango Bravo.
Pick up 4467, turn left heading 360. I turn 360, I'll be good, 44. I can see up ahead, it's just going to be some light to moderate rain up here. One Tango Bravo, clear direct valley. Direct valley, thanks, One Tango Bravo. Need a right. One Tango Bravo, climb maintain 1 1000. Climb maintain 1 1000. Actually, we're going to need right 10 for weather, please, One Tango Bravo. One Tango Bravo approved, when able direct valley. Roger, 1 1000, right deviation approved, and when able direct valley, One Tango Bravo. All right, we're going to go into 850 mode, flap lever up and over the gate. November 85, correction, 8458 Zulu, contact Miami Center 135. Now advance the power past 100%. We're also going to turn off our inertial separator. EBM 851 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center 133.4. 133.4, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. I made good morning, November 851 Tango Bravo, do 1 0 000 for 1 1 000 on a 1 0 0 heading. November. 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, three put altimeter 3011, area of moderate heavy precipitation, lasting for Joe Mount. Roger, thank you, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, we're going to be leveling out at 1 1000 here. In about six miles, we'll be clear of this sell off to our 10 11 o'clock, and that's when I plan on going direct to Valley. Hey, Miami, 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, we were given one able direct Valley, and we'll be turning uh, in about five miles. Good guys, 4409, roger. November 851 Tango Bravo said you will be turning towards Valley in about five miles. Uh, affirmative. Roger. Remember 851 Tango Bravo, climb maintain. Flight level, 230. Climb maintain, flight level 2301 Tango Bravo. All right, that'll hopefully get us up above all the stuff that we're dealing with there right now. November 851 Tango Bravo, fly present heading back to your climb. Present heading, one Tango Bravo. 851 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 125.32. 2532, one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Good morning, Miami, November 851 Tango Bravo, do 182 for 230. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, climb and maintain, follow 310. I maintain, follow 310, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we're above the rest of the storms here, so we'll turn our radar to standby. Take the shoulder harnesses off, get comfortable, because guys, we still have quite a ways to go. Miami 851 Tango Bravo, any chance direct valley? Number 851 Tango Bravo, proof is requested. Right, direct valley at this time, one Tango Bravo, thanks. Miami, All right, direct enter, enter, we're in nav mode, nine or five, five, and the airplane will be turning here direct to valley intersection. And my apologies, Blue 934, checking in 360. Blue 934, Miami, Center, Roger. Southwest 6702, Miami Center, climb and maintain level 210. So we're routing today. We took off out of Miami. We're going to be going past American Freeport here. We're going to be going up the Atlantic Miami. route, 16. Direct Crest View. Going to be about 154 nautical miles off the uh, east coast of the United Beach, States, uh, over the Atlantic Ocean. Spell that for me. We're going to be coming back into overland around Palmer Wilmington, Beach, North Carolina. Charlie Echo. Then we're going to be going up past. Norfolk, Beach, and then Charlie, over New Jersey, and then we're going right past uh, New York City, JFK, and then we're going to be cutting up past Long Island and Connecticut, over Rhode Island, and into Boston. The problem is, is we're going to be racing this, all this weather that's moving towards us. If we do have to land early, we have an alternate setup of Bridgeport, Connecticut. So we'll be going right here if we have to uh, decide we cannot get empty due to weather or we're going to be running lower on fuel than expected. We should be landing with one hour of fuel on board. We just passed into RBSM airspace. American, uh, 1591. We're currently passing through 285 for 310. And that's the service ceiling limit of this airplane. All right, guys, if you can see right down here, underneath the clouds, that is Freeport in the Bahamas. Right off our right wing. Grand Bahama Island. All right, we have reached our cruise altitude of 310. We're going to set our cruise power. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the prop RPM back. We're going to come down here at the blue lever. Yeah, pull that back, and you're going to see prop level. RPM fall back. I like to pull it back to about 1900. There you go. You can see the gauge coming back. Perfect. And we can go to 88 on the torque. The top gauge right here, 88. The main thing that we got to be concerned about today 
is we're going to be flying right up to the limitations of this plane for how far it can go to stay within our fuel requirements. We come down to here to the ETM, our engine trend monitor. We go to the fuel page. Negative Delta. We're going to see where we can land. We're going to be landing Starling at Boston 14, with 63.7 gallons. So we're within the limitations for flying IFR. We will have, but the problem is, as you guys can see, right out here to the west of Boston, we have a big line of storms that we can put in motion and see it's moving toward Boston. On the AR-16, at one point, we will be 155 miles from land. We do have a uh, life raft on board today. We have actually have a 10-man life raft, so it's a massive size life raft for what we have for us. All right, guys, we are coming up on New Jersey, and we are running into an issue. Here's our issue that we have. We are currently going to be arriving at Boston if we stayed on our route with uh, 64 gallons of fuel. We have had a lot of big thunderstorms blossom all along our route along Connecticut and Rhode Island, which would make us have to deviate a lot. And I'm not willing to push it much farther on the fuel. So we originally had our alternate set in Connecticut that's no longer an option because we had a lot of big storms down there that's blossoming by that. So I figured, why not go to East Hampton on Long Island? Center for 47, you guys are probably like to see that anyway, right? That's what I figured. So we're going to go to Washington Center now and tell them we'd like to change our destination to Kilo Hotel Tango Oscar, which is East Hampton on Long Island. So we'll do that now. Washington Center, November 851 Tango Bravo request. Go ahead. Uh, we'd like to change our destination down to East Hampton on the east end of Long Island. Hotel Tango Oscar. Affirmative. One Tango Brother. I right, stand by for Rudy. All right, so the, we told uh, Washington Center we're going to want to change our destination. He's getting a routing for us, and we'll get ready to copy that as soon as he gets it to us. And yes, I am using the Wall Street Journal to copy down my clearance when I get it. I said that routing when you're ready for it. Ready to copy, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, sir, clear direct Sea Owl, Sierra Indy Echo, and J121 to Plume, that is Papa, Lima, Uniform Mike, Echo. Victor 139 to Hampton, VOR, and then direct to the airport. Okay, got it, Roger. We got uh, direct Sierra India Echo, and then J121 to Plume, and then Victor 139 to the Hampton VOR, the direct airport, 851 Tango Bravo. Read back, correct. All right. Hunter 1713, what's your normal indicated today? So, um, on our little Ball Street Journal here, we got our routing, and I'll plug that into our computer. All right, thanks to the ForeFlight app, I got the high in route altitude charts all displayed real quick with the tap of a button. I got our new routing in, and we're showing 46 minutes to East Hampton. When it comes to making decisions like this, guys, uh, I mean, we could have pushed on. But with the way the weather was blossoming, you really got to take in all consideration for all aspects. If there would have been holding for, uh, due to traffic flow or anything else, we'd have been in trouble with our fuel. I like to err on the side of safety. And I've never been to East Hampton or Long Island to begin with, so I figured let's go to East Hampton. All right, we have diverted from Boston to East Hampton. We're currently in the descent. We'll get the uh, airport information here at East Hampton. East Hampton Airport. Automated weather observation. One eight two seven Zulu weather. Wind two seven zero at seven. Visibility one, one tango bravo. zero. Twenty five ninety seven. One tango bravo. All right, we did get the airport information. It looks like we'll expect runway two eight. Good afternoon, TBM eight five one tango bravo. Two seven thousand. Number 851 Tango Bravo News for Smith 29095. Expect a visual approach of runway 28. Let me know when you have the weather. Roger, we just got the weather for 851 Tango Bravo. I wanted to get you guys up to Boston heading, on this trip. Uh, Unfortunately, with the weather and our fuel situation, it looks like East Hampton's going to be it. We should start to see Long Island here soon. It's uh, currently all right out here in front of us. But it looks pretty hazy. Just looking at all that weather there along the I don't even have it sight yet. Workshop. One Tango Bravo to send a main team, 4,000. 4,000, one Tango Bravo. All right, we're going to go down to 4,000. Actually, just past this area where we're landing is where JFK Jr. Uh, lost control of his airplane and went into the uh, crash landed many years ago. When I was in the Coast Guard, I actually, or the cutter that I was on, we assisted in the search and rescue efforts of that, but we were not the ship to find the uh, airplane on that. But we did 
go out there and search for him. That and there was an Egyptian airliner too when I was stationed up here. The Egyptian airliner crashed right off uh, this area and we went out yes, for search and recovery efforts on that too. So there was two aviation events while I was up here that we helped out on. I do have a uh, setup for the uh, RNAV GPS Zulu runway 28 approach all set up and ready and briefed in case we were to get it, but I'm expecting we'll get the visual. 851 Tango Bravo Trading 090 to maintain 3000. 090 in the heading down to 3000, 851 Tango Bravo. 685 for the maintain All right, we're going to heading mode. And we'll VS the airplane down to 3,000. Yeah, with this haze, like on a day like today, even though it's a clear day, it's hazy. And once you look out over the ocean here, if you're not instrument rated, you would easily get spatial disorientation, can lose your, your uh, bearings. Because there is no horizon out there. I think, I believe that's what happened with uh, JFK Jr. New York, Japan, at night. 851 Tango Bravo, turn left heading 030, traffic you falling about 11 o'clock, 8 west on 2000, uh, say uh, Gulf Stream. Roger, 030 on the heading, I'm looking for the Gulf Stream, 1 Tango Bravo. Yeah, see, All right, where do you guys see that Gulf Stream out there? Point two two. Actually, I got him in sight. We'll see you later, 685. Didn't think I was going to get him, but I got him, we'll let him know. I got the Gulf Stream in sight for 1 Tango Bravo. 1 Tango Bravo, follow the Gulf Stream, clear vision approach to runway 28. Follow the Gulf Stream in, clear for the visual 28, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, I got our Gulf Stream out there in sight. 851 Tango Bravo, red up service for me, you can contact East Hampton at 125.22, good day. Roger, over to East Hampton, 1 Tango Bravo, thanks. Good afternoon tower, TBM 851 Tango Bravo on the visual for 28, we got the Gulf Stream in sight. Yeah. Yeah, the helicopter, Robins Island, what was the call sign? 351 Lima Hotel. 351 Lima Hotel, report Long Pond inbound, wind 250 at 6, altimeters 29-9-5. We'll call Long Pond, 351 Lima Hotel. And who else was calling? Good afternoon, Tower, that's TBM 851 Tango Bravo, we're with you on the visual for 28, we got the Gulf Stream in sight. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, Roger, caution way turns behind the Gulf Stream, uh, your number 2, wind 240 at 10, altimeters 29-9-3. Roger, number 2 behind the Gulf Stream, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, we're going to disconnect the autopilot. And we will hand fly it the rest of the way in. We'll be careful of that wake turbulence off the Gulf Stream that we've been warned about. But you guys are going to get a good view of the beach down here. But what I'm going to do to avoid his wake turbulence is I'll stay a little higher than his approach path. We're turning now to line up for only 2-8. Okay, we're going to put our first notch of flaps in. We're within our speed limitation for that. And we'll put the gear out. Gear down, selected. And indicating. One little trick that I do is I keep my hand on the gear lever until I see the three green and then I'll pull my hand off. So that way I remember that I verified the gear was down. Three, four, three. Doesn't look like there's a lot of people on the beach. I guess it's due to the fact that it's midweek. Our last notch of flaps in. The golf stream just touched down. Oh, well, nice golf course off to the left here. One Tango Bravo, caution with turbulence, landing golf stream, runway 28, clear to land. Clear to land, 28, thanks, one Tango Bravo. Sure, it's probably a pretty expensive round of golf down there. Roger, clear to land, 16 at Foxtrot, remain north of runway 28. All right, we've been cleared to land on runway 28. North of 28, one lane north of runway 28. That golf stream actually rolled all the way to the very end of the runway. I'm kind of planning on exiting halfway down it to the right. Wind 240 at 7, altimeter 299.3. Wow, the houses around here are amazing. I guess there's a lot of money on this end of Long Island, from what I've heard. Uh, we'll see when you get here. Yeah, we're going to get a quick splash of fuel here. I'll refile my flight plan back up to Boston after we land. 500. And we'll be on our way. So that's our plan for the rest of the day. Pitching for 90 knots. A little bit fast. 95 is what I'm showing for my indicate. We're looking good. Well, we're all lined up here. FBO we're going to use is over to the right side. You can see that Gulf Stream over there. That's who we followed in.
All right, we're gonna start to ease the power back. Go back to flight idle. Go into the flare. And there we are. We had a little stall horn on the landing flare there, but that's all right. Go into beta, slow it up. And like we planned, we'll get off to the right here. One Tango Bravo, where are you parking? Going to the FBO for One Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, follow the Gulf Stream, cross runway 16 into the ramp. And follow the Gulf Stream, cross 16 into the ramp. Thanks, One Tango Bravo. Yeah, Alright guys, welcome to, to East North Hampton. Hampton. It'd be, uh, on Long Island, New, New York. This is not really where I thought we'd expect to end up on this video, but hey, you gotta roll with the punches. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that thumbs up button. Feel free to click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Wherever you're watching from, hope all is well. And we'll talk to you again someday soon.